Hi there, and welcome to the fourth episode of Q&A and C, a monthly show in which I will answer questions I found in the comment section of my videos and questions that my Patreon supporters asked. All the comments in this video originate from those four videos, so make sure to watch them if you don't understand the context of certain questions. At the end of this episode, I will also crown the top three best comments of the month. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Roman asks, are there any circuit building programs that you know of that have a decent component database and that calculate values like voltage and amps and have a theoretical oscilloscope? Since I rarely use a simulation program, I have no definitive recommendation, but you could try out LTSpice or Simulink. Curtis asks, I have a lot of old TVs, laptops and tablets. I want to make a couple into screens that will play back video off of my car entertainment deck which is a Joying 135. Is it possible? Well, since a Joying JYUL135 has two video outputs, it should work fine. Simply extract the LCDs from your devices, Google the part number in order to find a fitting driver board with AV input, power it all with the 12 volts of a car battery and connect all of the components. And it's done. Simple. The comment section asks, what type of soldering iron do you use? I use the Erza Icon Pico. Victor asks, have you ever considered buying different SPCs? Have you ever thought about creating your own SPC? I actually have quite a few of different SPCs, which I reviewed in previous videos. And no, I will most certainly not create my own SPC, since I'm an electrical power engineer and thus lack the skills to do so. The comment section asks, you have a 3D printer, can't you make a casing? When I started working on the Shaking Torch project, using my 3D printer to create a decent case was my initial idea. But due to my limited time budget, I had to drop this idea very early during production. And I'm not entirely sure when I will have the time to use my 3D printer again in a project video. Matt asks, when I search for Arduino on Amazon slash eBay, most of them are only Arduino compatible. Are there any big differences? What would you recommend? The best thing about those clones is their price. You can get them for very cheap from China and they work without a problem. I also doubt that there are any striking quality differences. The only thing that sets them apart is that you can support the original creator by buying the original one and thus they can enhance the software and create new types. So in the end, the decision is up to you. Both sides have their pros and cons. Owen asks, how do you find out about ICs? What resources do you use? The internet! In 95% of the cases, you can successfully google every part slash IC number. The comment section asks, are you a lefty? I am. My EE teacher thought I was holding the iron wrong before she knew I was lefty. Yes, I am indeed also left-handed. Mark asks, are you involved in any local makerspaces, electronics clubs, etc? No, I have never been to any makerspace or maker fair, nor was I ever involved in an electronics club. Okay, let's move on to the top 3 comments of the month. Number 3 from Kevin, who says, Awesome, now I can generate electricity while I pleasure myself. I could charge a smart car easily in a single afternoon. Well Kevin, I congratulate you to your special ability. Number 2 from Jan, who says, First electrician who can write. How did this happen? Well, I actually know a couple of electricians who have a decent handwriting, but apparently the comment section is not aware of those. And the number one comment of the month is from San, who says, Did anybody else watch this video and go, why of course, that sounds about right, but absolutely had no idea what he was talking about, but kept watching because thought it was kind of cool to think you know what he's talking about, the funny thing is, I used to be the kind of person he just described a couple of years ago. So the moral of the story is, never give up. Eventually, everything will make sense. And with that being said, let's end this video here. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next one. Until then.